Here's how to install the seed box by Stinger. Lay out the parts in a good work area. Gather the required hand tools and jack stands. Unbox the brackets and hardware. The platform should be in the up position. Set the parking brake and start the engine at medium idle. Lower the tines and raise the unit by switching the tine control button to the down position. Increase hydraulic pressure if needed to raise the rear tires off the ground. Place the jack stand under the frame as shown to support the weight of the unit. Lower the tine pressure to zero by turning the tine pressure knob. Turn off the unit and the tines will stay in the down position. Make sure you remove the key. Disconnect the right control rod. Disconnect the left control rod. Install the seed chute as shown. Install the left control rod first, then install the right control rod. Make sure the frontmost hose on the lift cylinder is on top of the cylinder and aligned as shown. Reconnect the right control rod followed by the left control rod. Using two 3/8 inch carriage bolts and 3/8 inch nylock nuts, install the right mounting bracket and make sure the nuts are finger tight. Using two 3H inch carriage bolts and two 3H inch nylock nuts, install the left mounting bracket as well. And make sure these nuts are also finger tight. Install two 5 16 inch carriage bolts to mount the seed chute on the right. Finger tighten these nuts as well. Install two 5 16 inch carriage bolts to mount the seed chute on the left. Finger tighten these nuts as well. Install the seed box as shown. Insert the sprocket at an angle so it passes through the mounting bracket. Install two 5 16 inch carriage bolts on the right as shown. Make sure these nuts are finger tight. Install three 5 16 inch carriage bolts on the left as shown. Using a half inch socket, tighten down all the 5 16 inch nylock nuts on the right side. Using a 9 16 inch socket, tighten two 3 8 inch nylock nuts on the right side. Using that same socket, tighten the two 3 8 inch nylock nuts on the left side. 
Loosen the four mixer motor mounting bolts so the motor can pivot. Install the chain and master link as shown. Tighten the chain by moving the motor, then tighten the mounting bolts. Verify that the master link is installed properly. Install the chain cover with two 5 16 inch carriage bolts and tighten the nylock nuts. Insert the plastic clips as shown. Now install the control as seen here. Use two 5 16 inch carriage bolts and tighten the nylock nuts. Install zip ties on the harness as shown. Zip ties mount in clips installed in step 12. Trim the zip ties as needed. Route the harness along the hydraulic hoses as shown. Install the zip ties on the actuator harness as shown. Connect the mixer motor and the actuator harness as you see here. Press firmly until you hear a click. Zip tie and then route the harness as shown. To remove the back pad, remove the four 5 16 inch hex bolts. Locate the wire harness that goes into the hydraulic control valve. Locate the black wire.
Install the red splice connector on the black wire as shown. Use pliers to close the connector securely on the wire. Route the harness as shown and install onto the connector from step 16 as shown. Add zip ties to secure the harness. Connect the power as you see here. Add zip ties to secure the harness. Insert the key and turn to the on position, but do not start the unit. The seeder control will power on. Set the seed flow to 35, then press the upper left on off to manually turn the seeder on. The seed gate should open and the mixer should be turning. Press the button again and the unit will turn off. Press the bottom left button for automatic mode. Move the time control switch to the down position and the seeder will turn on automatically. Turn the switch back to transport and the seeder will turn off. Turn the switch to the left to the up position. Press the aerating foot switch and the seeder should turn on when the button is held down. Replace the back pad using the four 5 16th inch hex bolts that you removed in step 15. Raise the platform to the up position. Start the unit at medium idle. Move the time control switch to the down position. Raise the time pressure to max so the unit will lift up off the jack stands. Now remove the jack stands. Lower the time pressure so the unit slowly lowers to the ground. Move the time control switch to transport and the tines will raise up off the ground.